Welcome to Shavitz Heating and Air Conditioning's YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. My name is Bronson Shavitz, and today I'm going to talk about some thermostats. I have a non-programmable thermostat and a programmable thermostat, and I'm going to talk about how to operate them and how to program the uh, programmable thermostat. Now, there's a lot of different types of thermostats on the market and a lot of different brands. Um, I really like the Honeywell thermostats because they're easy to read, they're easy to use, and it's a nice, reliable thermostat. Now, I have a non-programmable thermostat and a programmable thermostat, uh, and each one is for a different set of people. The non-programmable thermostat is a very easy to use, very easy to read thermostat for people that don't want to have to mess with it. They just want to set it to one temperature and just forget it, walk away, and it's always at that temperature. Um, now the programmable thermostat is a uh, great way to save some energy, um, capable of saving 10 to 20 percent on your utility bills. When you leave for work during the day and when you come home at night uh, and, and when you go to sleep, you can set the thermostat to different temperature settings. You can set it a little bit warmer in the summer, a little bit cooler in the winter, so that you're not paying as much for heating and air conditioning when you're not home or when you're sleeping. So it's a nice way to leave those and also reduce the wear and tear on your equipment. So now I'm going to get into uh, the details of each of the thermostats. I have the non-programmable Honeywell uh, Focus Pro 5000 thermostat and then the programmable Honeywell Focus Pro 6000. So let's get into the actual operation of each. So we're going to start here with the Honeywell non-programmable thermostat. First thing you'll notice with this thermostat, uh, actually you might not be able to tell in the lighting, but when you push a button, the screen gets backlit. So it's a great thermostat. Um, at night, if you push a button, the display comes up. You have nice big numbers, easy to read, um, and as you'll see, it's very easy to use. Um, you simply go and you hit your up arrow or your down arrow to change your temperature setting to put it wherever whatever temperature you'd like it to be in the home your temperature setting is the number on the right the temperature on the left as you can see it says that's the inside temperature that's the temperature uh, in the room where the thermostat is coming down to the bottom you have your system button right now it's in heating mode if you push the button you can turn the system off or you can turn it over to cool. So your air conditioning comes on and then you go ahead and set whichever temperature you want it to be. And as you can see, our cool on our air conditioning has actually just come on. Moving over to the left is our fan button. You can toggle between fan on and fan auto. Fan auto means the fan comes on only when the air conditioning or the heating is operated or operating. Fan on means the fan is consistently operating 24 hours a day. That's a great way to even up temperatures in the home because the air uh, is constantly being moved and redistributed throughout the home. Um, great for people that have a uh, upstairs that's hotter and a downstairs that's cooler and you want to try to even those temperatures out. It's also great for people that have high efficiency air cleaners or air purifiers and they want to uh, utilize that air purifier or air cleaner 24 hours a day to consistently provide fresh clean air to the rest of their home. So that's when you put your fan in the on mode. So as you can see this is a nice easy to operate thermostat. Um, these thermostats are battery operated and the batteries are just as easy to change as this thermostat is to operate. If you look down from the top, which you won't be able to see from the camera angle, there's a, a button on the top that says press. All you do is you press this button and the battery pack slides out. Lifts up two AAA batteries, change out your batteries, put the new batteries in the same way it came out. Okay. Put it back in. There you go. That's how you change the batteries. So again, nice easy to use thermostat, set it, forget it, um, easy to read, easy to use. We're going to move on to the Honeywell Focus Pro 6000 which is the digital programmable thermostat. And again, this is going to be a great thermostat to program temperatures at different times for your energy savings. As you can see in this thermostat, it shows you the, the time of day. On the left side, you have your inside temperature. On your right side, you have your temperature setting. When you push a button, the backlit screen can come on. Hopefully, you can see that from the camera. And um, you still have your system, cool, heat off to turn the system from to toggle between heating and air conditioning and you have your fan auto fan on button to have the fan come on 
24-7 or to circulate just when the heating or air conditioning comes on. Now the additional feature that this thermostat has is the programming. So we're going to hit the set clock day schedule button. Now the first thing that you can do, you'll see the set clock is flashing. We can set the time of day. Just toggle up and down. And then we can also set the day. So if you hit the set day button, you'll see that it's Friday. We can toggle, you know, Monday, Tuesday through the whole week and, and set the day and the time that it is right now. Now we can either hit done or we can go ahead and set our schedule. So I'm going to hit the set schedule button. Now this thermostat is capable of having four different settings throughout the day. You can have a temperature when you wake up, a temperature when you leave to go to work, a temperature when you return back from work, and a temperature when you go to bed. So I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail and show you how to program it for this specific thermostat. As you can see, our first period is Monday through Friday. So we have our weekdays, we have our wake setting. So this thermostat right now, the time is blinking. So I'm going to set the time at which I wake up and what temperature I want it to go to. So let's say I wake up at 6.15 in the morning. I'm going to want to have that air conditioning or heating already at that point. So I'm going to set it 15 minutes earlier. So let's say 6 o'clock. Right now this thermostat is set up so at 6 o'clock the temperature is going to go to 72. Let's say I want to change that. When I wake up, I want it to be 70. Nice and cool when I wake up. So I'm going to hit the next button. And now the temperature is going to be flashing. So I'm going to drop it down to 70. So now when I leave to go to work, let's say it takes me an hour to get ready, and I'm going to leave at 7 or, or 7.30, whatever I, I want to leave at. I don't want to pay for that air conditioning, so I'm going to set that temperature higher. So I'm going to hit the next button to go to the next period. So that's leave still doing my weekdays and so let's say I leave the house at 715 at 715 um, I'm gonna go to the next the temperature is gonna be flashing I'm gonna let the temperature rise to 77 again so I don't have to run my air conditioning uh, save some money and don't put all that wear and tear on the air conditioner um, and it's gonna be at that temperature till I come back if I hit the next button let's say I come back from work at uh, 6 o'clock I'm going to set my temperature, my, my time to 6. And let's say I want to have that temperature already nice and cool by the time I get back. So maybe I want to set it for 530. I'm going to hit next and I want it to be 72 when I come back from work. I'm going to go ahead and hit next again. And let's say I go to bed at 11 o'clock on the weeknights. You know what, let's say I go to bed at 1015 so I get a nice good rest. Then. I'm going to want to have it, let's say I like to sleep at 69 or whatever temperature, I just hit the next and basically as you'll see whatever temperature or time is flashing, that's all you got to set it to. Hit next one more time and now I'm going to set the weekends, I'm going to set it the exact same, wake, leave, return, sleep. You also have the option on this to cancel a period, so let's say I plan on being home all day on the weekends, I hit next and I can cancel the period. So if it's flashing, that means that period is active. If I hit cancel, I got my lines, that means that period is inactive and it'll just go to the next temperature and the next time. So now I have everything set, all of my times, all of my temperatures, I'm gonna hit done. Now the system is going to go, I have the system off so it's not gonna go to any programming, but if I go to cool, it's during the day, so it's gonna go to my setback setting now let's say I come home from work during the day, come home for lunch. My thermostat is set for 77 and I want to drop the temperature down while I'm there having lunch. I can temporarily override it. The temporary button is lit. I go to 72. It'll stay that way for two hours and then it'll go back to the programming mode. Let's say I, I come home and, and I'm there, I'm going to be home for, you know, I take a day off. I'm going to want to push hold. And now it's going to stay held at 72 indefinitely till I go and hit the run schedule and then it'll go back to my pre-programmed settings. So that's how you program this thermostat. You change the batteries the exact same way. There's a push button on the top. The batteries slide out. This one takes two double A's. Put the batteries in and it goes right back in. 
same way. Clicks on. There you go. If the batteries out for too are not out for too long, you'll even remember your pre-programmed schedule. So that's how to operate the Honeywell programmable and non-programmable thermostats. If you have any questions, feel free to call our office at 847-678-1000 and we'd be happy to assist you. Or you can go to our website at www.shavitz.com. Thank you for tuning into our Shavitz YouTube channel. Have a nice day.